some reason. I'm not quite sure where his SCVs went. Uh, Light's going for drop at Hiva's main. Vultures and Valkyries in the air. Valkyrie doing massive damage to the Mutas. And now the Vultures are running around in the main. Or is this natural expo? This is natural. No, that was the main. And he's killing drones, forcing them to withdraw. Valkyries destroying nearly all the Mutas. All the Mutas are going down. There's no mining going on at all in the main for Hiva. Hiva's economy has been crippled this game. Light's lost his Valkyries, it looks like, but it's not going to matter. It looks like Hiva's moving out with a massive army of lurkers. He's going to try to do significant damage with this. On the other hand, Light has Vultures. He has tanks. If he can lay down... Yeah, he's got a big minefield protecting his front. Hiva's going to be forced to bring Overlords before attacking through this, and he's got an Overlord there. Light needs to hold his defense here. He's using his Marines, but there's so many Lurkers. His Marines are dying left and right. He's laying down more mines, just delaying the advance, putting down a bunker, but I'm not sure Light has enough to hold this off. Tank sieging, Hiva moving in with his Lurkers. Mines going off, but they're not killing the Lurkers. The bunker, the critically, the bunker holds, and the Marines in there are killing the attacking lurkers, but at the same time, he just dropped lurkers in the back of Light's base. Light is forced to not stop mining at his main. On the other hand, he was not able to penetrate Light's defenses at this 6 o'clock expansion. So both sides taking heavy blows in this game. One punch after another. At first, I thought Light with crippling Hiva's economy was doing pretty well, but at this point, Hiva's forced Light to mine basically only at one base, and he's managed to re-establish mining at the 12 o'clock position, but his 10 o'clock base isn't really saturated at all. Hiva's got his main working again. Light's floating up his barracks, getting them killed by Hydras. Uh, probably not quite what he was hoping for. So Light is transitioning to a pure mech build at this point, but I'm not sure he has the economy really to support it. Uh, he's got a 6 layout base, Looks like Hiva dropped in some more Lurkers, but they were killed pretty quickly. Which does not have a second gas, critically. And he's, he's basically trying to go mech off two bases. Which is, uh, gonna leave him somewhat tank light. It looks like Hiva has good number of Hydras at this point, so, you know, to, to kill Hydras, you really need more tanks. Looks like Hiva is running around with his Hydras, killing the scouting buildings of light. Pretty good move there. If, Kills the engineering bay, that's gonna annoy Light, certainly. He's not gonna be able to put down turrets for a bit. Yeah, by this point, it looks like Hiva's got four bases going. He's re established his economy, so his economy is booming right now compared to Light's. Light needs to either affect some sort of significant attack or he needs to get another expansion. His main's basically gonna be mined out soon. And he, I don't think he's going to be able to keep up economically. On the other hand, he has a massive army of vultures. And if Light can amass a good number of tanks, like a dozen or so tanks, and Hiva doesn't transition to hive tech or he doesn't build mutas, something like that, then Light has a good chance of destroying Hiva's army. So it remains to be seen. I would give Hiva the advantage right now, but it's hard to say, as always, in Pro StarCraft. Looks like he was not falling victim too much to the mines. He's been pretty good this game about using overlords and hydras to clear mines. So that's pretty good. A lot of zergs are so sloppy, just losing units all over the places at mines. Looks like Light's bringing a good army of vultures to attack these drones at 12 o'clock position, and Hiva has a lurker in position to defend and sunken. Uh, th the vultures, nevertheless, are doing pretty good damage to the drones. Kill probably seven or eight drones, possibly more. Maybe even up to a dozen drones, so nice attack by Light. However, while this attack is the, certainly the thing he needs to do, it's not a crippling blow, I feel. Wow, now he's killing even more drones, maybe up to 15 or so. So th I don't know why Hiva hasn't finished off those vultures yet. Hiva's bringing his hydras, trying to threaten... No, he's, he's pulling them back in the middle of the map, killing some vultures, like marauding out with some vultures, laying mines between Hiva's space and his own. Now mines are going off, killing a few hydras. The vultures, a nice number of vultures, looks like they're going for the 10 o'clock base, attacking these hydras, but he's not going to get anywhere with them. 
Light is wisely getting another expansion while Heva appears distracted, but no, Heva is sending out Vultures to take out Light's new base at the 7 o'clock. If he can deny this expansion, I think, yeah, he's denying this expansion with Hydra. Things are going to look kind of grim if Light cannot hold this base. Heva's got another base going now at the 11 o'clock or 11.30 position, so he's going to be on... Wait, he's got two extra bases, also one at 1 o'clock, so he's going to be on s um, six bases very soon. No, they're both up, so he's going to be on six bases. Just need to send some drone over to those bases to actually get them mining. Um, but once he does that, he's going to be in such a dominant position. Light has massed up a huge number of tanks, though. If he can make a big push right now, you know, with a dozen or so tanks backed up by vultures, and he can and take down an expansion or two if he was, he's going to be in a very good position. But if he cannot affect some sort of attack, and he's just hoping to hold his own four bases down in the bottom position of the map, I'm not sure that's the way to go. I mean, this sort of turtling Terran strategy can work, but I think you, you need to be able to hold more bases than that, at least like 40% of the map, if not more. And he's got only like 30% map at this point. He's got, what, four bases? He was six? Actually, no, that is 40%, but there are a couple expansions in the middle of the map that are not taken, is the thing. I think Heva has a much better, is in a much better position to take them. However, Light does have a huge number of tanks, and Heva's getting some mutilists now. Without upgrades, there are Goliaths coming out. Three attack already on the mech army for Light, so Light's mech army is super strong now. Uh, I'm pretty sure if Heva chooses to engage at this point without Hive Tech, looks like he burrows a Hydralis, that's interesting, and then he uses a Lurker Egg to block the ramp, very clutch by Heva, unfortunately Light has Irradiate on Science Vessels, and Heva's just focusing down the Command Center, Light is not repairing for some reason, he's not repairing his Command Center, Light loses the Command Center at the 7 o'clock position, I think... Light was just too distracted by moving his mech army or the irradiates. He assumed things were going to be fine. On the other hand, Light does have a huge army. He's moving out. He's going to try to attack the natural expansion of Heva. Heva's bringing down a decent force of Hydras, but it's not going to be a match for these tanks. Heva needs to use some sort of defilers or just mass up a huge... It looks like Heva is using the Hydras to stop another Light's expansions, but he needs to defend his natural. And there's absolutely nothing to defend his natural. Heva's going to sacrifice this face. I'm not sure that's the wisest decision at this point. Heva bringing his Mutilus, attacking a Goliath. Some, a lot of Mutilus are getting ready. He's not really splaying them too well. There's chaos in the battle. It looks like Heva managed to kill most of the Goliaths, but he only has a few Mutilus left. If Light can bring reinforcements, then he's going to be in a good position. I do not know why Heva hasn't built like a few Scourge just to kill these Science Vessels. There is a huge number of tanks just barreling down. Uh, he's killed the Natural. Light's killed the Natural. He's going to barrel down on the main of Heva. Uh, I think that's where his tech is. Looks like Heva's using his Hydra to launch a counterattack. Light is not going to push into the main though. He's going to withdraw all his tanks. He's got no anti-air left. And Light is forced, even though this massive tank army could take on any sort of ground army Heva has, and their tanks are getting caught at the choke point, not moving very hard. This is the problem with mech, they're so immobile. It takes forever to move from one side of the map to another. It looks like I think Heva at this point has won the game. Even though he's lost his natural, that's not a problem. He's got plenty more bases. He's got air superiority, wiping out Light's primary army, which is his tank force. It looks like he was attacking with some of these Hydras into one of Light's um, uh, expansion at 6 o'clock, but that's not going to do much. Yeah, and Heva's Mulas have just destroyed Light's tanks this game. Um, finally, Light's doing some more radiates. I think Heva could have won the battle right then and there if he had, like, a few Scourge. Eight Scourge to take down Science Vessels without the irradiates. This would be GG for sure. As it stands, Light is not out of this game yet. He does need to get another expansion soon. Certainly Light is in a very strong position at this point. Heva did lose most of his army and lost a natural, but he is still working on four mining bases compared to Light's one mining base. So certainly economically he was doing fine. Did this, does he not have drones at like the 11 o'clock or something? Looks like Light is floating up another command center to the 
Um, I guess that would be the middle 3 o'clock position. I'm not sure what to call that base exactly. Sort of the inner 3 o'clock position. And he's got a good sized mech army protecting it. He was managed to sneak two lurkers into 6 o'clock, just disrupt killing a lot of SEVs. Seven kills on that one lurker alone, disrupting mining. Very good job. But that base is going to be mined out soon anyway. So Light's going to be down to one mining base again. He does have a huge mech army, though. Absolutely massive. Looks like probably a dozen, no, more than that. Maybe 20 or 15 tanks and tons of Goliaths. Just massive Terran Ball moving up to D. 12 o'clock. Kiva's got some lurkers there. That's not going to do much against these tanks. He needs to bring his Mutazine or use some sort of defile attack. Kiva's electing to use his Muta to attack Light at the inside 3 o'clock. And Light is withdrawing all his forces. I don't know why he's withdrawing his tanks, for instance. That would do nothing against these Mutalists. At the very least, I think he should have left his tanks or a few of them to attack. It looks like he brings in his Mutalists. I mean, his Science Vessel to Radiant Mutalists. Not the best split by Kiva. He's sort of flying his Mutalists all over the place, getting most of them highly damaged. So Heva managed to buy himself some time with that attack, but he needs to have something more substantial. Finally, some Scourge out, but he, Heva just flies his Scourge over the Goliaths and gets them killed. Yes, very inspiring play there. And it, now his Mulas are getting killed, so Heva's got five Lurkers against a massive Terran army. He's not going to be able to protect this 1 o'clock base. Stop Lurkers! Stop Lurkers coming from Heva! He needs to unstop them doing some pretty good damage. Unfortunately, see, if he took down those science vessels earlier, this would have been an absolutely devastating trap. Because that was the only reason why Light saw that coming. But, as it stands, the trap was not that successful. And he's going to lose the 2 o'clock base. 1 o'clock base. Uh, top right base. Still, Heva's going to have three mining bases. That's not too bad. It just doesn't seem like he has enough units to stop Light's mech army, even though Light has a much inferior economy all this time. Um, Light's bringing his mech army back to Minnow again. He's has a Now Light is in a very advantageous position in terms of army, so Heva cannot hope to defeat Light on the battlefield right now with his Hydras. That would be silly. And, and I think he was... Oh, he's not even mining from his 11 o'clock base? I thought he was mining from that all this time, but he's not mining there at all. And it looks like his 12 o'clock base, one of his expansions, is barely saturated. That's why he doesn't have that many units. He was attacking up a ramp against entrenched Goliaths and tanks, and getting his Hydras destroyed for no cost. I think that failed attack, and I thought he had a much better economy than he did, but at this point, I'm going to have to say... I'm almost 100% sure that Light has this game in the bags. He's just got too strong of an army, and he was going to lose his 12 o'clock base right now. And with this, I think we will see a GG very soon. Yeah, I thought Heva had some good ideas this game. His Lurker Trap was, was pretty clutch, but if he had sniped those science vessels, that trap would have absolutely wiped out Light's army, and it would have been a brilliant play. Like, just having his uh, reinforcements cut off a bit by these two lurkers, but it hardly matters at this point. Um, he was, seems like he's rallying his hydras to attack Light. One final desperate attack is not going to do much, I feel. Now, he, you can tell that he's not playing very well anymore. He's attacking his own hydras, and he's running into mines, and he GG's now. So, he had a some good ideas this game. You know, his Muta switch was very good. His stop lurker trap was very good in principle. But he did not kill any of the science vessels. I only built like four the entire game. Or, or however many he built, it wasn't that many. And he just had a few, which would not be hard to kill at all with Scourge. But Heva just did not do that. And I think we could have seen a pretty...